Hi dear students, let's see this question that came in J Advanced Paper 1 Physics in the year 2019. This question was from the topic of dimensions and this was based on multiple choice correct question. The question was simple but in my opinion this type of question came for the first time from the topic of dimensions. So those students who might not have seen these type of questions and dimensions might have faced slightly panicked but overall the question was simple so in this case in this question it is said that uh, there is a system of unit which has been defined in which the unit in which the dimension of mass and that of angular momentum is m0 t0 l0 that means they are dimensionless so we have to find the and length has usual dimension of capital L so we have to find that uh, dimension of force power energy and linear momentum in terms of L right so first we can say that the dimension of mass which in our usual notation is capital M in the system that we study would have become small m0 L remains the same so I'm, I'll be using the same L L0 and T0 so I'm taking the small lettered uh, symbols for the new system and capital lettered symbols for the old system right angular momentum in our system is you know mass into mvr basically i'm using if, if we use the formula mvr so m is mass v is velocity which is lt inverse r is distance again so that will become squared is again has become dimensionless so it has become m0 l0 and t0 now if you simplify it slightly so you will be able to see that capital m anyway has become uh, zero so this capital m can be ignored because it has become m0 l0 t0 so this quantity becomes L square into T inverse which is M0 L0 T0 so basically the uh, we have to keep in mind this relation now let's go to the question if you see the dimension of force if we see dimension of force dimension of force is nothing but mass into acceleration so mass is M and acceleration is meter per second square so that is LT minus 2 mass has become dimensionless so M can be replaced by this so basically you can simply forget capital M now L T minus 2 right so what I'm going to do let's say if we square it so if you square this equation so it will become L to the power 4 let me square it okay so if we square it I'm writing here so it will become L to the power 4 into T to the power minus 2 this anyway will become M0 L0 T0 right I have squared this now it is easy to see m has gone so if you see from here l to the power minus 2 will become l to the power minus 3 if you take l cube this side so this is exactly what, what we are going to get so can we say that this l to the power minus 2 is actually l to the power minus 3 so hence force ka dimension is this so option a is right okay if we talk about power power is nothing but force into velocity so power is nothing but force into velocity so I'm using small p for power okay so force is L to the power minus 3 into velocity velocity is uh, LT inverse right so we can see from here that this becomes L to the power minus 2 into T inverse right now if you again see from here uh, if you uh, like you know if you see this equation okay so let me do it uh, on the next slide okay l square t inverse is dimensionless l square t, t inverse is dimensionless m0 l0 t0 correct and we have to find the value of l to the power minus 2 so what i'm going to do i'm going to multiply by l to the power minus 4 and l to the power plus 4 so this can be written as l to the power 4 l to the power minus 2 t inverse right which is dimensionless so we can see from here this becomes l to the power minus 4 right so basically we can see that this quantity can be written as l to the power minus 4 okay so this option was wrong dimension of energy if you want to see dimension of energy energy is half mv square so half doesn't have any dimension so we can say mv square now m is mass v is l square t to the power minus 2 that means v square is l to the power l square t to the power minus 2 mass again is dimensionless so we can forget that l square t to the power minus 2 
can be again seen from this. If you take L square this side, so we will be left with L square d e power minus 2. So if L square goes this side, it will become L to the power minus 2. Make sense? And hence energy has a dimension of L to the power minus 2, which is what was written in the option. Linear momentum. If you take the symbol of linear momentum as capital P, so it is mass into velocity. Mass anyway is dimensionless, so we are forgetting that. LT inverse. Again, LT inverse can be found from this equation. If you take L this side, so you will be left with LT inverse. L, if it goes this side, it will become L to the power minus 1. So we can say that this can be written as L to the power minus 1. I hope you would have understood. So option D was also right. So again, as I said, this was a simple question, but this was uh, novel in the sense because, uh, you know, not many times in the previous years, this type of question was asked from dimensions. So in that sense, it was slightly novel, but overall the question was easy. I hope you would have understood the solution. Thank you.